What's up guys? All right, so I'm back. I had been gone. I went to Florida a couple weeks ago for my girl's birthday and uh, we went to Cape Coral. I did a video on the photo shoot that we actually did out there. But the experience behind that was really good. I, mean, I loved, I went to Cape Coral once and uh, we really didn't explore like we did this, this time. Uh, we went to a place called the Boat House and I gotta say this is probably one of the best places I've been to to eat. Uh, you eat outside, uh, the, the food is, I would say the food is, is okay, more on the, you know, it's really good side. Uh, it's just the atmosphere with the people playing music and just being by the by the ocean and just making making it feel like you're on a boat. I would say th all those elements together just really made that experience at the boat house really nice. I haven't had a really like long vacation for a while and being a week off, completely shut down, uh, rebooting is something I really needed and it was nice to do that. But back here, gotta tell you, what I wanna do today is something a little bit different and that's a tutorial. Uh, I usually don't do these, uh, maybe I will start in the future uh, because I do use a variety of programs I, for editing. I use Final Cut Pro, I use Premiere Pro, um, I use After Effects for certain things, but I also use DaVinci Resolve for color grading and editing and of course my deliverables. So in a way it's like maybe I should do some tutorials because it's not like I'm stuck on one program and you, like if you know you're gonna get tutorials here it's gonna be from a variety of, of editing softwares. So it's, maybe this is the first of many. Final Cut Pro, so I was editing a project and inside that project what I found was a setting within the setting. Now we're gonna go on this computer and I'm actually gonna show you uh, the settings I'm talking about. Now this is specifically for color grading um, and I'm talking about log, if you shoot in S-Log2, uh, S-Log3, if you're shooting in film mode like I am right now in the Blackmagic Ursa, uh, if you shoot with an RE, I mean what, like whatever camera you shoot that's just, it's basically a flat profile. Uh, I can show you how to apply a grade onto the actual video file even before it gets on the timeline, which can probably save you a lot of time. So let's go on it. Maybe this would be helpful for you. Maybe it won't. Maybe you already know this. I know uh, Premiere Pro has this built in already, like right in the color grading set settings, but uh, Final Cut Pro doesn't unless you input 3D LUTs and whatnot. But we're going to look into applying a LUT as soon as you put in the, uh, the footage before it goes on the timeline. So let's go. We'll see how it looks. So this is what I was referring to. So typically what I would do is I would throw the project into the timeline and then I would edit and then grade afterwards. However, this is something new, so I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna work in my workflow, but I just wanna share with you, maybe you can give me some comments on how this is effective for you if you use this, but I wanna share with you anyways. So here we are clicking on the clip and I'm gonna go over here on the inspector window and in the information tab. Now, typically what you would see is basic over here in this drop down. However, what we're going to do is we're going to click settings. So this is where the camera LUT option is at. Now, as you can see, when you click on it, you have options that you would see in Premiere Pro under their color tab. So as you can see, I shot, uh, I believe this was S-Log3 I shot with. So when I click on this, you see that the, the colors come out. So I can still make color adjustments as I wish, but it's nice to know that I can actually just apply a LUT within the program without maybe buying LUTs or trying to generate my own 3D LUTs. So again, this is extremely, extremely nice to have. Now you can also try, like say for instance, you shot an S-Log2 and the color didn't turn out good. You can still try out these other ones. And then again, this could just be just a base to start you off for color grading, especially when when you have video clips that are so flat in the Final Cut Pro, you gotta raise a lot of the saturation and whatnot up. So I hope this is helpful. Um, and this is what I found by, by accident. Um, I'm sure there's tutorials out there for this, but I just wanna share what I found with you guys in case you, you're using Final Cut Pro and you've never come across this. So again, if you shoot and log, this is brilliant. Just apply a lot. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope this tutorial was okay. Uh, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe I'll do more of these uh, within the different programs that I use. If not, well then, it was a go try it and crash <laughs> kind of deal. But it's always fun for me because I love sharing with you guys anyways. But leave any comments below that you want. And uh, besides that, my friends, I will catch you guys in the next video.